Hi guys, welcome to yet another Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at how to install Java on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Now, as you all know, there are two implementations of Java. We have OpenJDK and Oracle Java. Now, both of these are largely based on the same code. The difference is OpenJDK is fully open source, while Oracle Java is proprietary. Now, both of these implementations will work just fine and you can choose whichever you want depending on your software requirements. So we are first of all going to look at how to install OpenJDK and later on we are going to switch to Oracle Java. Alright, so the first step is to update the system. So I'm going to update all the packages to their latest version by running the command sudo dnf update and I'm going to hit enter. So from the output uh, you can see that my system is up to date and we are good to go. Now OpenJDK is hosted on the default Red Hat repositories and uh, to do that you can run the command uh, sudo dnf search java so the command will yield the output showing you all the packages that contain the keyword java so I'm gonna hit enter and shortly we are going to see the results as you can see on the screen here all right so when you scroll all the way up you can see a list of all the java packages so here you can see we have java 1.8.0 open jdk and uh, we can see as you scroll down you can see all the open jdk versions that are available on the repository all right so now i'm going to clear the screen we are going to start with uh, the older version so now to install the older version or the oldest version of OpenJDK, simply run the command sudo dnf install uh, java-1.8.0 hyphen open jdk. All right, so now hit enter. So on your screen, uh, you will see this output. So these are all the packages and dependencies that will be installed, okay, or that come with the OpenJDK 1.8.0. So to proceed, simply type Y on the keyboard and hit enter. Okay, now this might take a while, maybe a minute or two. So just be patient uh, as the installation goes on. So at this point, I'll pause the video and I'll be back once the installation is complete. And there we go. We are done with the installation of OpenJDK 1.8.0. So I'm going to clear the screen and we are going to check the version of Java installed. And to do so, run the command java hyphen version, hit enter. So you can see here we have successfully installed OpenJDK version 1.8.0. All right. Now, apart from that, you can also install uh, the latest versions of JDK. Now, more recently, OpenJDK has changed its version numbering scheme to track more closely to the Oracle Java releases. So from the output that we saw earlier on, when you are searching for the available versions of Java, we saw that we have other newer versions. So just to recap, I'm going to list the versions of Java that are available. All right. So when I hit enter, you can see that we have newer versions of Java. So for example, uh, here we have, you can see we have Java 11 open JDK. All right. So we also have uh, Java 17. OpenJDK as well as Java 21 OpenJDK which is the latest version of uh, OpenJDK at the time of uh, making this video. All right so I'm going to clear the screen. So now you can uh, install newer versions of Java by simply specifying the version. All right so for example to install OpenJDK 17 simply run the command sudo dnf install java hyphen 17 hyphen open jdk 
like that. So hit enter. So as you can see, this will install Java 17 Open JDK and other dependencies. So to, to proceed, hit Y and press enter. Okay, so you can see the installation is underway and will be complete in just a few seconds. So as you can see down below, we have installed Java OpenJDK 17. Okay. So similarly, you can install another version simply by changing the version number. So earlier we have installed uh, OpenJDK 17. So if you want to install another version, say OpenJDK 21, all you need to do is to just change the version number. So here we are going to install uh, OpenJDK 21. So once again, hit enter. So to proceed, so hit Y and hit enter. So you can install as many installations of Java as you can, but in most cases you will only need one uh, installation. Okay, great. So you can see the installation is complete. So at the moment we have three installations of Java, uh, OpenJDK. We have OpenJDK 1.8.0, we have OpenJDK 17 and uh, 21. All right, so, so far we have seen how to install uh, Java from the OpenJDK bundle. Now, the next, the next way you can install Java is to install it from Oracle. So let's see how to do this. Now, as mentioned, the other way you can install Java is by installing it uh, from Oracle. Now, since Oracle Java is proprietary, we need to go or head over to the Oracle Downloads page so that we can install or download the binary. So now on your browser, uh, you need to head over to the Oracle Downloads page, as you can see. So here I've decided I'm going to go with uh, Oracle Java or JDK 21. So be sure to select JDK 21, as you can see here. Now scroll down below and uh, make sure that you locate the x64 RPM package over here. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to right click and uh, copy this link. Okay, now I'm going to head over to my terminal. All right, so I'm going to download the RPM. But before that, I'm going to need the wget uh, command line tool. So I'm going to install it here using the command sudo dnf install wget like that. So I'm going to provide my password. So once again, I'll press y for yes and hit enter. Okay, so wget is installed. Now I'm going to use wget to download that RPM bundle. So I'm going to paste uh, the link as you can see so hit enter so as you can see the download is complete okay so you can cross check it using the ls command and uh, here is our rpm uh, binary file all right so now to install to install oracle java simply run the command sudo rpm all right hyphen uppercase u vh then followed by the rpm package which is the, the one that you've just downloaded so hit enter okay so now you can see the installation is underway and it's installing oracle jdk 21 so just be a bit patient as the installation progresses all right so this has successfully completed and as you can see it's quite easy now once once you check the java version again you'll see that or you notice that the latest version which you have installed from oracle java is the default version that you get okay so the oracle version java becomes the default java version as you can see okay so now let me clear the screen so so far we have multiple versions of java installed all right we have both openjdk and oracle java so sometimes you might need to choose the default java version that you want depending on your requirements so to do so you need to run the command uh, sudo alternatives 
double hyphen config java so this command will help you or allow you to choose the version of java that you want as the default version so hit enter so this provides the various or the different versions of java on your system so currently we have four different versions of java provided by both OpenJDK and oracle java so by default uh the the one we installed from oracle java is the one that is the default and we can see that it is third here all right so this is the one we installed from oracle so down below we have we are being prompted to enter the current uh, the current selection or the current selection number that we intend to make the default so let's assume we want to to have OpenJDK 17 as our default Java version. So to do so, we are going to type the selection number that corresponds to that. And in this case, it's number two. So I'm going to type two there and hit enter. All right. So when I check the, the default version of Java, I'm going to see that we have OpenJDK version 17. So we have successfully changed the default version from Oracle JDK 21 to uh, OpenJDK 17. All right, so that's how you do it when it comes to selecting the version of Java that you'd want to use. Okay, all right, so now we need to test our installation by creating a simple Java program. So now um, I'm going to create a simple program okay that adds two numbers so here i'm going to use vim and then i'm going to call the program sample program dot java like that so i already have uh, a few lines of code okay so this is the code that sums up two numbers so i'm going to copy this and paste it here All right, so this is a simple Java program that sums up two numbers. So in this line, we can see we have declared three variables. So we have X, which takes the value of 25, Y, 25, and then we have the sum uh, variable here, which uh, sums up the two variables, X and Y. And this uh, last line here uh, prints out the value of sum. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to save this. All right, so to run the program, I'm going to simply run the command java sample program.java, hit enter, and you can see that the sum of the two numbers is 50. So this uh, ensures or is a confirmation that we have successfully installed uh, Java. Now, one last thing before we wrap up this video is that you can consider to set up the java home variable and the path variable now the binaries are installed in the user uh, java directory so when you list this the contents of the user java directory you can see uh here we can see open we can see jdk 21 all right and other versions here okay so we are going to go with uh, JDK 21. So you can export the Java home variable using the export command like this. So Java underscore home is equals to uh, user Java JDK uh, 21 like that. Okay, then hit enter. Uh, you can as well set up the path variable using the export command. So here we have export path uh, is equals to path. So once again, we will specify the path user Java JDK hyphen 21 forward slash bin like that. Okay. Now, to verify that this uh, has been set up properly, you can just echo the environment variables. So here we have echo java uh, underscore home. And uh, as you can see here, 
this should correspond to what we specified here okay similarly we can uh, echo the path variable okay so once again you can see that here we have this here which corresponds to the path that we set up here all right okay so now this brings us to the end of this uh, linux tutorial so in this video we have seen how to install java on red hat enterprise linux 9 and we have seen how to do this by installing open jdk and also installing java through uh, oracle java so that's it guys for this video uh, if you found this insightful please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as this will help me grow this channel and make more videos like this so that's it guys so see you in the next lecture